before the child is four years old, father and mother should spend at least 15 hours a week of playing intentionally with this child playing with dough drawing pictures cutting scissors jumping and playing around outside playing with a ball so 15 hours per week for two years in the first four years so that's why we say if you don't have time don't get children because children will take time sometimes young people will take promotions at their job like the Singaporeans they will work extra hours after hours three four five hours a day for money because they think money is important but they don't give time to their children making money this side stealing from the children this side so we have to we have to decide this is a, a, a picture of two brains to the left hand side it was a young baby that was nurtured and cared by mom and dad enough nutrition good care but a lot of skin contact and soft words. And look at the activity here in the temporal lobes of the brain. This brain here was taken from a Romanian child. A Romanian, it's from, from, Romanian. from the country of Romania. Yeah? For the first 12 months, this child had no skin contact, no eye contact. Just nutrition and care because the baby was in an orphanage look at the activity in this brain so these are the, this is your capacity for emotional regulating so this child one day won't have the ability to manage himself and this child will have the ability. What is the difference? This child, no daddy in the home. No mommy spending time and touching and soft words. There was nothing of that and in this child everything was there. Why do we say this? When you train young people, young men, you have to tell them they should create space for mommy to connect with the baby. Otherwise, the child won't grow up. In a good way. Okay, now, before we carry on, I see your eyes are closing. Some of, some of you are dozing off. 
Okay. 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 Do you all know what is called a push up? Push up. You know what's a push up? A bomb. A bomb. A bomb. Alright. So now we're gonna go drop down. Alright, so my arm jump. And we do ten push ups. Alright, so my arm jump. And 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 Elijah will count. Hi, look, Elijah. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah. Two, three, ten. Look, let's jump to back up high. And then for the rest of the day, from Wednesday to Sunday, it's it's like this. If I see you sleep, I do push ups. Okay. 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 Okay, you are awake now? I love you, no? No. 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 <laughs> so guys, that's the first two years. Very important. <laughs> but here, three, four, and five also important. Because in these years, mom and dad together. <laughs> must help the child to believe <laughs> that they are allowed to live on this earth. <laughs> they should experience unique significance. They should believe they can do certain things. <laughs> Let me give you two examples. When a little girl is three years old, in the morning before she gets dressed, the mommy and daddy should do the following. On the bed, you put three dresses and two pairs of shoes or three shirts and three pants and you tell her or the boy now choose what you want to wear and let them choose this will develop the brain how to make decisions and to believe that they can make right decisions. But how do we make it in the wrong way? Mommy, mommy take out a dress. And she's forcing this little girl to wear the dress. Now the girl cries, I don't want to wear this, I don't want to wear this. And then he wears the dress. The child thinks they're not allowed to choose. The child yeah. So they don't allow to choose and they cannot make right decisions. They say most entrepreneurs, business people, are formed between two and four years old. Because mommy and daddy let them explore. And give the children small decisions to make. Let me give you one more. 
in the morning the pay prep, you go into your son's bedroom the son is four years old say boy let's make your bed now daddy goes you put in the sheets make the bed put the pillow everything nice and the boy is just here he's, he's, he's in the way but he's helping and when you're done, you say, Well done, boy. Now you go and you call mommy. Mommy, come here. Look what our boy did. He made his own bed. You made the bed. He was only in the way. But mommy sees the bed. And the little boy thinks, I'm okay. okay. And daddy thinks, I'm okay. What happens in the boy? Or, or the girl? Unique significance. How many times do we meet people, adult people? They always afraid to make decisions. They can never make decisions on themselves. Why? It was never formed early on in the house. And obviously the other role of mother in the first five years is nurturing care in other words good nutrition good food clean clothes medication but now from five to six it becomes the dad's voice the daddy is different. Have you seen when a, when a, a mummy holds a baby? She will hold the baby like this. Face to face. Face face to face. To each other. But when a daddy holds a baby, he holds him like that. But the face looks to that side. <laughs> Showing the face to the world. So mommy always turns for nurture and care. And a dad shows the world. Because the mommy builds the inward. And the dad makes the child look further. So while the mummy keeps the baby like this, the daddy is putting the child on the shoulders. And his main role is to make the child believe they can make it. It's a big, big difference. In a natural way, the children want mummy. First of all, in the first four years, they always want mommy. But from about four years, it, it seems like they turn to daddy. And the mommies feel rejected. What did I do wrong? They, they always say, yeah, because you are always friendly. You buy the sweets. Uh, and you know the mummies, they yeah, say, yeah. Oh, because you buy the sweets and you always spend it, and we have to discipline. Yeah. Yeah. So let's look at the few important things that a dad should do. The first one here at the age of five is strength. So the daddy should look, should look out for the strengths of a baby or, or a young child. And then develop it. Alright, so the men should understand the 
We should play with our children a lot. So that we can develop these things. Play a ball. Play memory games. Do many things. So that we develop a lot of things. But the second thing here on age six is to understand that the discipline of a child should be led by the father. The father assumes disciplinary action. What happens in normal life? Dad goes out and he works for 10 hours. Mom waits at home. Now the child is, 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 is naughty. And mommy needs to discipline this child every day. Dad comes from work. He's tired. hot. He doesn't want to discipline. And all the discipline is the role of the mother. But a good dad should know that he's the leader of discipline. So the child should understand whether the daddy is at work or at home. Him and mommy works together on discipline. They, they decide together. So what do we do in our house? You all have phones, you have telegram or whatsapp or whatever. So before I go home in the afternoon, I asked my wife to send me a voice note. Tell me what child was naughty. And what, and what discipline was needed. Now when I get home, greet everybody. Lift the emotions. I look around like full land. But a little bit later, when everything is quiet, I call the naughty child. I said, Mommy said to me what you did to them. Mommy said she already disciplined you. But I want to remind you. In this house, when you do this, this is the consequence. And if you do it again, this is the consequence. And it will be me and you. So, so the child always knows that mommy and daddy work together. And as they grow up, she can warn them. When they are naughty, and tell them she's going to call dad, and, and, daddy, and daddy will sort it out when he gets home. She sends the voice note, you come home, you sit with the child, we have a conversation, explain the matter, and you discipline the child. Because from the age of five or six, the child wants to know exactly where the lines are. They want to feel secure with, with rules and values. And values. It is your job as a dad to make sure that the right discipline structure is in the house. If you and your wife do not agree, you sit down when you're alone. 
you have conversation until you agree on the structure or, 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 or the process or the process and you work together you can never speak out of two mouths in one house always one mouth the children will know who is the easy one? I don't know. They will ask mommy. If she says no, they go to daddy. <laughs> or they go to daddy. If he says no, they go to mommy. And if they can find two different voices, they will make you up against each other. They are very clever. <laughs> so they should know they go to mom, they go to dad, they always say the same thing. It's the work, the job of a dad. To get this right in the house. Not, not by forcing. By conversation. Okay. So as leaders, we should understand that, but the people you train should know this. Because most people will say, oh, teenagers are so difficult to grow up. Because the reason is they never spoke out of one word in, the, in one mouth in the house. Now, at the age of seven, basic competencies should be developed, like washing dishes, doing certain things for yourself. It is also the, the job of a dad to do this. <laughs> so maybe call your boy if you have a, a nice yard, you can mow the lawn. Uh -huh. You bring him and say, this is how we do this. Teach him how to change the tire of a bicycle or a scooter or a car. In our country, we love barbecue. You know what barbecue is? Yeah. We, we will dry. Yeah, we will dry. So when my child was, my boy was six, I had to teach him how to make fire. Before I did that, one day he was playing with his friend. And in the front yard, we had a big palm tree. And, and the palm tree had. <laughs> The palm tree had like like hair, you Hi. know, on the bark. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I see him and his friend. Hey, <laughs> I'm <laughs> so, so, so my boy and his friend. They took matches. Okay, And they made a fire. And they lit the palm tree. <laughs> now, now the flames quickly went up. <laughs> so I was sitting in my room with my wife. And we was we were watching this <laughs> And now they run to the water. With the hands. <laughs> so they get water. <laughs> they run. <laughs> and when they get at the fire, <laughs> there was no water. <laughs> <laughs> they run up and down, up and down. <laughs> and we, we just laughed. <laughs> and I went out. I helped him, I helped him kill this fire. <laughs> I said to my wife, it's time I teach this boy how to make fire. <laughs> <laughs> so I created the space in my yard with, with a little boundary wall. 
and just sand in the middle. I said, boy, if you want to make fire. You make fire here. And I thought you to make fire. So many things that we can teach our boys. And the mother can teach the girls. We should really start with this at the age of six or seven. Now another thing is very important. They say a child develops the picture of father in heaven, father God. From what they see their earthly father is. So between the ages of 5 and 8 years old, the child sees the father, and they think God is exactly the same way as the father. So your child the picture in your child's mind of God looks like you. Now by the age of eight, age of eight the child develops the, the, the ability to think body, soul and spirit. By the age of eight they already have a picture of God. Now my question to you. What is the picture of God in your child's mind? Is it a disconnected God? Is it an abusive God? Is it a screaming God? Is God always punishing? Does God keep his word? I hear some dads would say In the week they would say Son, if you would just go to school and do your homework By Friday I'll buy you ice cream Do you know what ice cream is? Friday comes, dad comes from work, no ice cream. Next week, son, if you do your work this week, by Friday, we will go play ball in the park. Friday comes, the boy did the homework, dad is not playing. What is the picture of Father God in the boy's mind? Many children, many children, actually adult people, cannot believe God for His promises. Some are very fearful of God. Because if I made a mistake, God's going to kill me. He's going to eat me. Why? Because of you, Dad. So you have to realize by the age of age, at the age of age, the picture in your child's mind of God is you. When you do training with men, they need to realize this. When you do training with men, we all have the responsibility to represent God on this earth. Your child wants God with flesh on it. They touch you, they think they touch God. What about this one? Your child is five or six years old. 
ដែលយ៉ាងវិញស្លីបអាត់ណោយគេអត់ចង់ដេកនៅពេលយប់គូសេអាវេរីអ្វ្រៃគេពុកគេខ្លាចពេលអូដែដីអាមស្កេតអា